Well, the beginning of the project was quite interesting because we did not start from models or renderings, but a single sheet of paper. We had a single fold on the paper and basically that was it. The fold finally ended up as the, the middle crease of the shell, which creates the lumbar support and also it creates the uh, link between the horizontal tabletops as well. Because when you see the soft chairs with the sharp tables, they do not match. But because of this single fold, I believe that it creates a link and a uniformity in the space. The big challenge of the process of this chair was the material itself, which was using recycled polypropylene. It was much rigid than we expected, having less flexibility, which meant that we needed more material on the joints, less material for the flex of the seat, and we wanted less material on the edges to give this lightness and poetry to the design. I must say that this chair is designed for everyday life, made of everyday household plastics, which all makes sense. It's, it's durable, it's sustainable, it's affordable, and it's stackable, which means it's a nice chair. The N02 Recycle is made from household waste and Actually, it is grinded into pellets and then it's melted into the shell. And what makes it even more interesting is that the chair itself can be recycled again, which means the, the head of the product, which means how it's made and how it's sold and how it's used, and the tail of the product, which means how it's thrown away, is kind of linked. The head is eating the tail, which creates this perfect circle which I feel is the most interesting part of this project. The collaboration with Fritz Hansen was fantastic. Um, the fact that Fritz Hansen has a lot of knowledge about functional stackable chairs really helped us a lot because trying to design a really efficient but warm and comfortable chair is, is very difficult and challenging. And uh, I think it was, I think the collaboration between Nendo and Fritz Hansen was very smooth. <laughs>